All righty, 10-day health, wealth, and wisdom challenge. And again, this is day chapter number eight. Uh, we're reading from the book of Proverbs. Powerful, powerful, powerful. And uh, here we go. Doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of high places by the way of the places of the past. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, old man, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. O oh, you simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be you of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. They're all plain to him that understandeth and right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instructions and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies and all the things that may be desired or not to be compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine, and sound wisdom is mine. I am understanding. I have strength. By me, kings rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me. Yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold. Yea, than fine gold. My revenue than choice silver. I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the past of judgment that I may cause those, listen now, that I may cause those to love me, that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning or ever the earth was. When there was no depths, I was brought forth. When there was no foundation abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth, while as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the death, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the foundations of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the waters should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, then I was by him as one bought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in a habitable part of the earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways." Hear instruction and be wise. Refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me watching daily at my gate, waiting at the post of my doors. Whoso findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. Wow. Wow, wow, powerful. So again, may the Lord add a blessing to the reading, the hearing, and most importantly, the applying of his word. What time is it? It's breakthrough time.